Greetings, Cinephiles. It's your boy, Matt, and welcome back to episode number 11 of Matt Hates Everything. Today we're going to be talking about Midsummer, which is a recent horror film that just came out that I was incredibly stoked to go see, and I finally talked myself into going down to the theater and sitting in that dark room for two and a half hours or so. And uh, if you're interested to find out what I thought about this gem, uh, please stick around past the intro, and uh, we'll get right down to it. Okay, now Midsummer was directed by Ari Aster. You might be familiar with Ari Aster's works from uh, Hereditary. Now, I'll be the first person to admit it, when I saw Hereditary in the theater, I thought it was absolutely brilliant. Absolutely loved it. Um, and then uh, a few months later, I sat down to watch Hereditary again with my wife and thought it was utter trash. So now that I'm not watching that movie through rose-colored glasses, let's take a look at another one of Mr. Astor's films, Midsummer. Uh, Midsummer, in short, is about a group of college students who go to Sweden to study a small village's, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? A small village's um, rituals that they have every Midsummer. Uh, there's graduate students and they're gonna be writing papers about it. And it's more of an educational thing than it is like, oh, let's go see what's going on. And that's all I'm gonna tell you about the movie. And now let me tell you why. This is, without a doubt, the worst movie I have ever seen in my life. All the great things from Hereditary that I loved um, are gone. And all that we're left with is two and a half hours of nonsense. Now people are gonna tell you, oh, it's a slow burn, and it's meant to be creepy, and you're not supposed to know what's going on. And he goes, what this is? This is bad filmmaking. Plain and simple. The cinematography, cinematography, the cinematography in this film is out of this world. It is beautiful to look at as a piece of art, but as a piece of filmmaking, and as a piece of storytelling, it is utter trash. I would rather watch House of the Dead, directed by Uwe Boll, 500 times than sit through this trash again. It blows my mind how this was even made into a major motion picture. Like the president at A24, when he decided to read the script and find out if this was a movie that he wanted his very prestigious production company attached to, I imagine it went something like this. This is brilliant! Fast track this right now! I'm not even sure if anybody there actually read it because it's just garbage and it's painful how bad it is. Like, this was the first time I sat in a movie theater, and I can't remember how long, where I almost wanted to sit there looking at my watch, waiting for it to be over so I could leave. But I wanted to make a review for you guys, so I decided to soldier on and see it till the end. Now, speaking about the end, make sure you stick around for the uh, post-credit scenes, because as we all know, I love me some post-credit scenes. This movie is so bad, if you liked it, unsubscribe. Just go ahead, unsubscribe. I don't want to be part of it. If you think that this was good, you obviously have um, a chemical imbalance or maybe some physical brain trauma because that's the only way that I can figure out that this movie's worth watching. It is without a doubt the worst movie I have ever seen. And now we're going to give it a review on a scale of one to five, one being Bad Ben and the Mandela Effect and five being true romance, we'll say. So I'm going to give this one a negative 12. This is worse than Bad Ben and the Mandela Effect. And that movie was shot on some dude's cell phone at a house he rented for the weekend. So please do yourself a favor and avoid this film at all costs. And once again, don't forget the post credit scene. In the immortal words of my favorite YouTuber of all time, Captain Sexy Pants, a peace. Files, what's up nerds? 
watch the intro and find out if I'm just a blue, 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 blue.